Now that they've agreed that the welfare reform law can go through Stormont, it seems that nothing is going to stand in their way to get it enacted, especially not attempts to interfere by Stormont's smaller players. When Stephen Agnew tried to submit proposals to change it, the DUP used a petition of concern to block them. The DUP are using their strength of numbers to ensure that that legislation goes through the way the British government wants it. Essentially, the Assembly's been told, we've got this agreed, you're not changing this bill. And to me, the, the uh, democratic process, uh, the legislation process of the Assembly has been overridden. Petitions of concern were brought into the Assembly to protect the rights of minorities. Alex Kane says now they're just being abused. It's a device simply to stop proper debate. It's a device to say to people, we don't care what your argument is. We don't care how clever and well constructed or how properly you may be deconstructing our economic position. We don't give a stuff because we, we, we have got the power to do away with it. I think that we were right to do what we did to ensure that we protected the integrity of the agreement that had been reached. And obviously uh, Stephen and the Green Party are outside that agreement. Although they appear to have agreed on the issue of welfare, Sinn Féin and the DUP have very different reasons for working together, chief of which are Westminster and Dublin, where both parties are gearing up for elections of huge importance. 